Today we're going to talk about infertility. Infertility, a sometimes stigmatizing word that refers to the difficulties men and women can experience trying to bear children. Some people in their life plan have decided to procreate and have children of their own. For some, this comes easy and without even planning it. Whereas for others, it could be a matter of stress and great frustration. There might be different reasons for a couple or an individual uh, to have difficulties getting pregnant or getting someone pregnant. When this happens, certain tests can be done to try to determine the cause. But even with tests, sometimes it, sometimes it is difficult to determine why there are difficulties. An overall general recommendation is that when a couple has had difficulties achieving pregnancy after having unprotected sex for about a year, some initial tests could be considered. However, if there are any concerns, people may get tested earlier. When talking about infertility, we should take into consideration that this is not an issue of fault but rather an issue of the factors involved in the process of creating a pregnancy. That is why we talk about a male factor, that is when difficulties are related to the male reproductive function, a female factor when difficulties are related to the female reproductive function, or a, simply a combined factor. If there is any concern for a male factor, the initial testing is, aside from a proper health history and, and examination, usually a semen analysis. With this, the number, speed, and appearance of the sperm can be evaluated. Other tests can, that can be done might include things like testing for hormonal levels, as some abnormal levels can make it difficult to get a partner pregnant. Other blood tests can check for genetic conditions that can also interfere with pregnancy. Using an ultrasound could be helpful too, as it can allow for the assessment of a blockage in the vas deferens, which is that tube that uh, moves the sperm from the testicle onto the rest of the tubule system. Sometimes even a biopsy might be needed if semen analysis shows zero or a very small amount of sperm. With this, a small sample of tissue from the testicle may be collected for a more detailed assessment. When difficulties uh, are suspected in the person who's trying to get pregnant, that's when we talk about a female factor. Similarly, in addition to proper examination, some testing can be done, like Again, testing for hormone levels and genetic issues. Ovulation tests to check when the egg is, is being released for fertilization. And imaging studies like ultrasounds and x-rays. Different tests can be used to check if the, patient, if the patient is ovulating, as I said, which is the time when the ovary releases the egg. Those ultrasounds and x-rays provide images of the inside of the body, showing an abnormally shaped uterus, blockages in the tubes, and other problems with the anatomy. In women, even surgery called laparoscopy can be considered as part of the evaluation to look inside the abdomen, inside the belly. After testing is done, the results might show that one or both partners have an, a, a difficulty or a specific problem that can be treated. In that case, that treatment will likely fix the situation. Unfortunately for some people, there might be a problem that can't be treated or the test might not show clearly what the problem is. In these cases, there are other treatments that can be done to help couples get pregnant, things like in vitro fertilization, surrogacy, or using donors. Trying to get pregnant can be stressful for a couple. It's normal to feel sad, worried, angry, or even guilty. However, it is important to understand that professional assistance can be really helpful. So here are the five things I'd like for you to remember about the topic of infertility. Achieving pregnancy for some can be a stressful experience. You should consider an evaluation after one year of trying without success. There are male, female, or combined factors difficult in the pregnancy. Laboratory testing and some imaging studies can be considered for the evaluation. And finally, in some, Issues cannot be treated or identified, so you should consider some alternatives.